guys coming up to the chalk stone now. This is really pretty, I have to be honest. Morning. Welcome to uh, Wasdale Head. It's uh, seven o'clock and it's a parky morning. Just had a rain uh, squall. It's uh, late May. Uh, it'll be June in a few days. And um, we arrived late last night, or the early hours in fact. We both got some shut eye. That went good. We're going to square away now and then we're going to do Scarfell by Lord's Rake and the West Wall Travis. Summit, uh, Cross Mickledore, Col, and then uh, Summit, Scarfell Pike. Catch you later. Bye for now. Beautiful, beautiful morning. The sun's come out. It's lovely. Some big peaks behind. Kirk Fell, Great Babel. Ah, beautiful. We arrived in Wasdale in the dark, and um, at dawn there was a, a brief a brief storm, quite heavy as well. But uh, our hearts were lifted when the sun broke out and the magnificence of the uh, the mountains around us presented themselves. Fantastic, fantastic place. As we hiked up the valley from uh, Waswater, it did occur to me in Sky this was more like a little bit of the Scottish Highlands than the English Lake District Fells. Beautiful. The Scar Fells playing the part of Munro's. Waswater, a Scottish loch. Magnificent place. Oh, yeah. I must say, it's good in approaching, it really is. Sat on the back there. Water in front, scarf down behind, and um, when you turn the corner further down the valley, you see the west wall of Scarf Hill and um, Scarf Hill Park. Very impressive. Really impressive. Seven five minutes, a little bit of chocolate, and we carry on. Catch it a bit. Hey guys, yeah, we're getting pretty high on Scarfell now. Mickle doors up ahead, probably 150 200 meters, and of course, the uh, the start of Lord's Rake up to my right there. I'll just spin around. There's Sky, so there's Mickle door, and of course, that side is Scarfell Pike, this side is Scarfell. And the entrance to Mickle Door is up here. Mickle Door to uh, Lord's Rake, sorry. So, uh, see you in a bit. Hi there, guys. Okay, then we're about uh, 25 yards, 30 yards now from the, uh, the start of uh, Lord's Rake. And we're getting quite close to the uh, uh, the west wall of uh, Scarfell. So, there's this danger of rock fall here. It's time to put the uh, the old helmets on. Um, I know a lot don't bother, but um, to be honest, you never know, do you? You know, a lot of this is pretty loose, um, as you can see from the boulder field behind me. So uh, great. So we're going to fuel up, lids on, and then we're going to carry on to the start point of uh, Lord's Rake. Let's go for it. See you in a bit.
Hey guys. Okay, then we made it up this sort of boulder field. This is the start of Lord's Rake, which is up there. The sky's pushing on up now. As you can see, the remnants of the chalk stone is up there. So, uh, okay, then without further ado, then we'll uh, make a, a steady ascent up Lord's Rake. See you in a bit. Coming up to the chalk stone now, which one was further up, further up. Good job. This is really pretty, I have to be honest. Okay guys, this is the summit of Scarfell Pike. Uh, must be about 100 people up there now, enjoying the sunshine. Um, we're halfway up Lord's Rake now. It does continue above, um, but Sky's already started the Westwall Travis now. So that's behind me, Sky's up there. So we're gonna make a left turn and make our way up Scarfell along the West Wall Travis. So catch you in a bit. It's great. It's really, really cool. Exhilarating. See you in a bit. Look how soul crushing that way is. Yeah, yeah, it can be a bit soul crushing them kind of routes. <laughs> Greg Gable's looking good though, isn't it, over there? Yeah. Hi guys, Ooh, the West Wall Traverse completed, pretty good, exhilarating, um, the tricky section probably is the last 50 feet, uh, it goes into a very narrow uh, damp chimney that uh, is next to no handholds and uh, the scree there is just almost like mud, uh, that was tricky, but other than that exhilarating climb to be honest but uh, I, but uh, yeah we're uh, just about to do Scarfell the uh, second highest in the, U the UK England apologies uh, the underappreciated mountain really uh, of course behind me in Scarfell Pike which is uh, the highest and we'll be going over there in a short while so we're just going to summit, I'll just spin round the sky and there's the summit of uh, Scarfell so we're going to get up to the summit and I'll catch you there see you in a bit well here we are, we are on top of Scarfell I'll give you a spin round of the view well done Sky, epic climb there 
smooth glass water there appearing. I'll be a bit careful here as I don't want to fall off this uh, rocky summit. Uh, coming up there, great gable coming up somewhere. There it is. Yeah, there's a great gable. Oh, there it is. Pike, our next destination. Uh, we keep on going round. Uh, Bow Fell, Crinkle Crags. Back to where we began. began. Beautiful view, quite clear as well. You can see the Isle of Man as well. I'll point it out on the video if it comes out. See you in a bit. Hey right, guys, making our way down uh, towards Fox's Tarn, which is down there. Uh, I can't quite make it out there. There it is, I think. Yes. Um, God, this is tricky. Loose, pebbly scree. It's steep. Oh, this is hard work. <laughs> it's exhilarating as coming up Lord's Rake and the, the West Wall Traverse was. Uh, this is this is grim. Oh dear, and we've got to go down a little bit further yet as well. Oh, sky, sky slipped. You okay, Sky? Oh, it's really it's got to go slow with this stuff. It's real nasty. But uh, okay, we'll crack on, and I'll catch you at uh, Fox's Tarn. We'll probably have a bit of a break there before we continue descending. Catch it a bit. Here we are. It's uh, Fox's Tarn. Not much of a tarn. Um, there's a little beck. That's what we've got to come down there. Pretty nasty. Pretty gnarly, that is. Oh, well, I wouldn't recommend them. Well, you ain't really got a lot of choice. You've got the buttress broad stand in the way of going directly to Scarfell Pike from Scarfell. So you, it's kind of as good as it gets, really, to get down so we can get back up to Mickledore. Um, and then we can start going up the shoulder of uh, Scarfell Pike. But uh, it was pretty gnarly. I'll just spin around and show you where Sarafel is. There it is. See all the poop at the top there. So it's like sort of um, like a bank holiday week's half term, and obviously the Jubilee is um, Thursday and Friday. A lot of people are taking uh, the nine days off, aren't they? Don't blame them. So uh, there's a lot of footfall up there today. All day long, there's been loads and loads of people going up and down the path, enjoying the great outdoors, and that's good. That's what it's about. Cool. I'm going to enjoy my rest for a little bit, and then we'll carry on down the beck, and then we'll start our ascent then of Scarfell Pike. See you in a bit. Hi, guys. Yeah, we uh, made it down uh, uh, Fox's Tarn, uh, from Tox's, Fox's Tarn down the, uh, the beck. Another sketchy section, uh, pretty tricky downhills, ramble that. Um, if I just point it out, it's kind of that gully there. Uh, quite tricky, again, it's damp obviously because it's a tarn. Uh, a beck, sorry. Um, excuse me, I'm quite tired. <laughs> uh, but uh, we got down, and now it's the slog up now to Mickledore now, the pass between. Uh, Scarfell and Scarfell Pike behind me. So uh, this is our going as well. It's certainly uh, it's a tough mountain. Yeah, yeah the Scarfells, you know. Um, yeah, in my respect, definitely. But uh, you know, for five minutes and then we'll carry on off. We've got about another probably 100 metres to reach the, um, uh, the Mickledore there. Uh, the, the call. I can see the stretcher um, uh, station. I'll spin around, you might be able to see it. Um, where is it now? I think it is there. You might just make it out. It's grey, so you probably won't. We'll see it anyway in a bit. So, uh, wow. Right, I'm going to have a five minute breather and then I'm going to carry on. So, Catch you in a bit.
Here we are then, about to make Mickledore. There's the uh, stretcher station. Hard work, grinding it out now, grinding it out. <laughs> this guy's up ahead, I'll spin round, there she is. Uh, somewhere. Oh, I can see her now. <laughs> Looking vacantly into, on, onto the uh, onto the screen. Oh, I can see her now, I can see the pink. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a bit more to go up here. And obviously we're gonna hang a right then up to the summit of Scarfell. So it's uh, a few more hundred feet yet. I think you have to drop about six, seven hundred feet um, from Scarfell before you can make the ascent up to Scarfell Pike. So uh, it's a bit of a grind, but uh, good stuff. That views are wonderful. I'll just gonna spin around. As you can see the pretty crinkle crags and Bowfell. Pretty stunning. That over there. Let's see if I can. Oh wow, it's, it's better. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely epic. Going up to the summit uh, of Scarfell Pike now. There's uh, Scarfell. We summited earlier today. Spin round. There's a big cairn showing us the route to the top, and there is the summit up there. So we've probably got about another I don't know, 40 meters, probably something like that. Vertical. Huge expanse of boulders on both summits, but more so on Scarfell Pike. Uh, otherworldly, really. But uh, good, we get in there. What an epic, what an epic day in the lakes and the uh, and on the Scarfells. Excellent. Okay, catch you a bit at the summit. Hey guys, Scarfield Pike, summit number two. Wow, epic, busy of course, would be. Let's have a scan round, shall we? Fred Gable looks excellent. Spin you around, have a look. Hi guys, pretty busy on the summit there as you saw, Scarfell Pike. We're on our way down now, um, up the sort of the regular path from uh, 
from uh, Wasdale, Wasdale Head. So uh, we're gonna get down this as quickly as we can and get some food cooked up. Um, keep the hind uh, off the horse. <laughs> Starving, I really am. The old flapjacks have uh, served me well, but uh, need something a bit more substantial now. <laughs> Uh, great, it's been good though. Tough, not an easy, not an easy mountain, you know, to do the trick to do the two. Uh, because you're going from you know effectively sea level about 86 meters, you know, it's not, not a great deal of height gain. So, so you are doing a, a big dollop of, uh, of elevation uh, to do uh, Scarfell and Scarfell Pike together via. Um, by Mickledorf, obviously dropping down Fox's Tarn all the way down and allowing us to come back up then to Mickledorf and then from in Scarfell Pike. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's quite a good shift, <laughs> but uh, good. Okay, then, well, I'll probably catch you uh, nearer to, to Wass Water, which is over there. Uh, once we got down a few more hundred meters. And we probably have our last words there. So, uh, great stuff. See you in a bit. Oh, yeah. Right there, we're nearly back at uh, Wasdale Head Car Park now. Ooh, I'm not going to lie. That descent down Scarfell Pike was absolutely caning. Woo! You know, those uh, sort of man made laid paths. Oh, dear. I know they're for the good and all that. And obviously, you know, we need them because of the high foot fall, particularly at Scarfell. But uh, they'd half make it hard, particularly on the descent, just for me anyway. <laughs> oh, boots off. Put them in the back, I think. Pull them down. But uh, anyway, if you're still with us after all, all these adventures today, then much appreciated. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. So, uh, yeah, take care, stay safe, see you again, bye for now. And by the time I got back to the car, after the epic adventure on the Scarfell Massif, I dropped off and at an hour shut eye. I've never done that before, but what an adventure. Yeah.